What's going on, guys? This is Ty, this is Ty with the Dividend Stock King with another video. Um, thanks for watching my video. Appreciate it. Hope you subscribe and like the, the video. And the question is, can you have too many investment apps? I think you can, but you could pretty much have a lot. Um, I have an Acorns account, I have a Robinhood account, I have a Acorns account, I have a Webull account. Um, what else do I have? I have a Bumped account that does some stocks too. Um, I have a, you know, I, I'm investing in crypto as well. So you could have, um, and I have two crypto apps for buying crypto. So you could have too many um, because, you know, so these places do charge to, to, to transfer funds uh, like in crypto. But um, you can have too many investment apps. Um, you shouldn't have like seven apps just to buy crypto or just to buy stocks. Stocks, most people that I've seen that online, offline, usually have like two. Um, or like they have a in one finance or whatever, and they'll have like a, a Roth IRA to another place. Uh, but you shouldn't be having like six different apps to buy stocks. If you're just buying stocks like I am, you don't need but maybe two or three. Um, maybe a Webull and a Robinhood goes really good together because the stocks that you can't buy on Robinhood, you can buy them on Webull. So, you know, I'll, and Webull has more information about the stocks, more in detail. People can comment. You can comment versus Robinhood to get the basic information. So, you, all you need is like one or two, like pretty much two. Um, but if you're, you know, I have the stock, I have an app called um, Happy Nest, <clears throat> which it does real estate, uh, you can invest in, uh, and they give you quarterly payments. I haven't been on there much at all because I'm, I'm, I'm busy with Acorns, Robinhood, Webull, and my crypto, so I have a lot of time. And then with all these apps, you got to put money into it, so your money's going to six different places. Um, you don't need a lot of apps to invest in. You really don't need it. Um, if you have a stockbroker, you use Robinhood and Webull. Um, and, you know, Acorns, I mean, you don't need a lot of uh, investment apps to invest um, because you can really spread yourself too thin and you can't keep up with all those apps and what's going on. Um, so it's, it's it, you know, you should, you'll, you'll need but a few, three or four, and that's it. It depends on what it is. If you're buying stocks, you don't need to have four different. You don't need Webull. You don't need um, Robinhood, N1 Finance, whatever else, to buy just to buy stocks right out. You have a retirement account. I understand. You have a retirement account and whatever other account. And a stockbroker, that's fine. But if you're buying stocks like I am, you don't need to, you know, spray some too thin. Um, but yeah, too many can can be you know you can't handle that much. I used to have an app called Happiness that invest in real estate. I haven't been on there in about a month and a half because I haven't had. I, sometimes I forget I even had the app, but I just haven't put in money. I'm not even going to these these dips. I'm buying. I'm buying all these dips. The market is down. I'm buying these dips. So that's where my money is really going to. And, and again. And you're buying cryptos and then you're buying stocks, but the stocks are at an all-time low. If you're going to put money into the all-time low and give them dips, then you can't buy any cryptos. So, you know, that's you, sometimes it can be too much. So that's the end of the video. If you want to get Robinhood, and Robinhood is down below. If you want some real estate, I have happiness down below as well. So check out the link down. You'll join that. And if you're going to build an online business from home, I have a link to that as well. So that's Thanks for watching.